Hey YouTube, EMP's Boy Night 60 here, and I'm here with another Intech. This time we're gonna go over our recently reprinted Bot of Duality and my opinion on some do's and don'ts with this thing. Of course, everyone knows Duality. You take the top three cards off your deck, reveal them, choose one of those cards, add it to your hand. The other three go in your deck. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Only activate one of these per turn, and you can't special summon the turn you activate this thing. Very nice card. A lot of searchability, a lot of possibilities, in some decks. Some decks, awesome. Other decks, not so much. So, before you start dropping $80 or whatever, buying yourself some tins, or you go online, you buy them for 10 bucks each off of a website, figure out if your deck is good with this thing. Some decks that are perfectly fine running Pot of Duality. Graveskeepers, Royal Tribute them. Let's say you flop your Royal Tribute. Oh, perfect. Then you can sit on your Spy, or you can sit on your Recruiter for a little while. Yeah, that is, if you had a Recruiter in your hand in the first place. They run over, they run in the Spy. Oh, look at that! Plus, you can sit on your Spy, have Necro Valley out in the field already, or toss a Combinant to get Necro Valley out in the field. 2500 Defense. Not too many people are going to run over that thing first turn. Tech Genuses are also another one that's fine running duality. Let's face it. You end up sitting on your floater cards, or if you got those two specific floaters out of the field, you get them gaining 800 attack with one face down. So that's kind of nasty. So Tech Genuses are also fine running that. Morphine Jar Variants are also fine running it too. And I know it's kind of surprising calling the Morphine Jar Variants, but I think they might still do pretty well this format. So you can just sit in your Morphine Jar, or you can flop your Morphine Jar. Hey, look, I found my Morphine Jar. Then set something else face down and psych your opponent out. They also have their nice little cards, instant gratifications. Oh, you're going to MST? Wabaku. Try doing something now. Haha. -ha. Basically, anything that'll float or flip effect is fine with duality. Set Raikou with duality. Actually, duality set Ryko. Blah de blah. Oh look, I milled three other light swarms. Plus, I got this in the graveyard. Oh look, there's Judgment Dragon. Mass Dragon can sit on the field for a little while. Totem Dragon can come back out of the graveyard next turn, and that thing can get one to your hand. So, any search cards or floaters or flip effects are good. Some that are not good. Fairies. I really don't think duality should be run with fairies for the pure and simple fact that you want to get these two out on the field as fast as possible. Even Harold, too. I didn't put him out, but he's in there. Harold, Hyperion, Christia, you want to get them out on the field right away because that one turn that you give your opponent some setup time, they can really get some setup time going. And they can screw with you completely. This thing will seal off special summonings. What if I seal off special summonings first? Then that thing can't come out. That thing really can't come out. Then you gotta set up some tributes for it. And setting up takes some turns and some protection, which you may not have. Black Wings, I also don't think they should run duality. Yes, it can be handy for them, but they're kinda special summon oriented. That one gets it from your deck when it destroys a result of battle, so necessary. This one gets one out of your graveyard. What if you gotta play this turn with this card, and you really need it, and you got that duality, and you were dumb enough to activate it? Now you're screwed. And this thing can teleport out of the field and start overlaying for X seeds. And guess what? Those are special summons. Kinda coody, another deck that I really don't think needs it, and in all honesty, it don't need it. It has enough searchability by itself with the merchants and the cash caches. Get these two out in the field, cash cache, get something to your hand, and then get this guy out in the field and start negating the, your opponent's pot of dualities. So this thing doesn't need it. And Doppel Warrior variants. Once again, it's too special summon oriented. You flip a Doppel Warrior. Oh. Whoops. No level 7s, no anything. Have fun with that. I will give a word of warning, though. Every person in the world is going to expect you to have this in your deck. And they will be running cards to counteract that. 
dust shoot, and that's mine crush. I don't have one. That's why everyone's running this now. Because remember, you revealed that card. They know it's in your hand. So mine crush no longer is random. That's why this also might not be a good idea. But the ultimate decision is up to you. I just voiced my opinion. So, do you want some pot? Do you? Maybe. You'll have to figure it out yourself. Later, YouTube.